Africa-centric economies, then, or economic policy, must be reoriented toward improving the lives of Africans, first and foremost. One of the most harmful effects of the economics of colonialism, and by extension, the economics of neocolonialism, took place, as I suggested earlier, in the food production subsector of African agriculture. There are very few African countries that are self-sufficient in food production, in spite of the potentialities for most of them to be just that, self-sufficient in food production. Uh, so there must be an end uh, to, the, to the economics of uh, neocolonialism, which means basically focusing on the food subsector. This implies a number of agricultural policy changes in land tenure, farmer access to credit, government subsidies, and yes, protection against import, such as rice. Alone, no African country can probably resist the neoliberal agendas of the WTO, the World Trade Organization. So, I am quite cognizant of the fact that if African countries were to do the things that I'm suggesting that they should do, they would incur the wrath of WTO, the World Bank, and the IMF. Let's be realistic. But if these policies were to be adopted continent-wide, in unity there is strength. So it would be infinitely much more difficult for the WTOs of the world to go after an entire continent among the richest at that, than to go after one country. So Pan-Africanism then becomes a necessity in order to address or to end the economics of uh, neo-colonialism. Okay. So all of the materials are already here. What needs to be done is to add value to them through industrialization. Okay. Uh, in other words, Africa must use its raw materials as leverage to basically change the game from primary commodity producer to, at the very least, uh, basic industrializer. In the end, the economics of neocolonialism must be replaced by the economics of African nationalism, which is to say Pan-Africanism. This will require a sea change in policy, and more importantly, a sea change in mentality. This work must begin now and cannot wait.